Hey, 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 welcome to my channel. My name is Paula and today we're gonna talk about a camera bag that I feel is perfect, except that it has just like one tiny big issue. I'm back with the topic of camera bags, aren't I? Uh, so I made a video uh, some while ago about different camera styled bags because I was truly up for it and finding myself the best camera bag for me. And uh, after my comparison, I came to the conclusion that the Saint Laurent little camera bag would be the best one for me. And I actually ended up getting one and uh, it didn't really go that well. So there is a three part story of how my bag at least had some quality issues. Um, how, what happened with Saint Laurent and uh, that I have currently sold it. And I will link all three of them down into the description box if you are curious to know how it all went down. But I would say the only like a truly good thing about this all, I think there are two good things. So I really fell for this bag. I love the aesthetics. I chose a beautiful color. It's uh, the size was amazing. I'm a tall person. The strap is just like excellent for tall people. <laughs> um, and it was just like, and then I found it with an amazing deal from the pre-own market. I couldn't really believe how good of a deal I made. I think I paid like 600 euros for the bag less than a year ago. So it was originally purchased in June, 2021. And I purchased it in, I think, December 2021. And um, I paid around 600 euros of a perfectly new bag. Like at that point, it was six months old or something. It was just like, I couldn't believe the luck I had that someone was letting it go with such a good money. It came with receipt, boxes, uh, no, actually not the box. <laughs> um receive dust bag and like all all that good stuff but then it turned out at least my bag had like some issues with the glazing there's a video but anyway so i ended up selling mine and i did get over 200 euros more to my own pocket than what i paid originally and i actually sold it through vestier collective so the buyer paid even more than what I got, than what I paid. So I guess it's like saying the right prices just has, has gone up. So like two good things. I got to test out the bag I truly felt that was perfect for me. Turns out it wasn't. But at least I got to try it with a really good price and actually made some kind of profit afterwards. So hey ho, <laughs> all good. But I mean, I'm still in the hunt for a camera bag. Again, I thought I solved this already. But all in all, um, Celine, I'm once again looking at you. I thought I found the best camera bag. It is so beautiful, especially in this cognac leather. It has a leather Triumph logo on the front and it's just like very streamlined, looks so like casual, chic, it's just beautiful. The price point, because like, I mean, Celine bags are pricey, like they are very expensive. So the price point on this one was, I feel like very, very doable. And if we look at the measurements, and now I'm gonna take my little helper here with me. Um, so I will link the exact bag to the description box if you wanna go and check out the measurements in inches. I live in um, Europe, so I use centimeters. So I have this as an like example piece to check the references. So it is 26 centimeters. This bag is, I would say 26 centimeters, let's see. This is little less than 26 centimeters. So approximately, 
this length height 13 centimeters so we can see that 13 centimeters is there so not as high as this one but just like somewhere over there and then four centimeters in width it's quite hard to measure <laughs> this one in width but it is not as wide as this one uh but still like maybe like half half of the width here or something like that so this is i feel like quite good size reference a little shorter maybe a bit like longer and not as wide uh but i think the size is really amazing in this camera bag um it has a zipper on top it's just like it's just gorgeous in all the ways and then i noticed one thing which makes this bag not work for me and that is the strapped strap length this is not a crossbody bag. This is meant to be a shoulder bag. And I'm just so disappointed. I'm like, come on. It would have been perfect as a crossbody camera bag. I have never seen a camera bag style as a shoulder bag. So the strap is adjustable, sure. But lengthwise, the adjustable strap is 20 to 25 centimeters long. So 20 as its so shortest and 25 as, it longer, as its longest setting. I mean, it's, it's just like hanging here in my armpits. Like, mm, I'm so disappointed. Why? Why? Why are you doing this, Selene? It would have been like a perfect camera bag in all the ways and i mean i'm looking at the strap so it is clearly um made out of two parts which are connected to the bag and then there is a buckle that you tie them up so like in some theory you could add a separate like part in the middle of the strap to make it wearable as crossbody but i don't really think celine provides that kind of leather and if i would look for it from like etsy or amazon it should be like exactly the same color so i'm not entirely certain how this would go down but i kind of don't want to pay that much money for a diy handbag i'm okay to do it with a bit cheaper stuff such as my saint laurent monogram clutch for instance but if I would be paying that amount of money, I would truly expect it to have all the functionalities I'm looking for in a camera bag. Like, oh, I'm so frustrated. My only hope is that Celine just brought this out because they have a lot of styles that are only like shoulder worn. That maybe this bag would come out with a crossbody strap at some point uh, but probably the price would also then be like whoosh or something completely ridiculous at that point uh where because i also have like a mental limit for camera bag prices and i'm not really willing to pay too much of those but i mean mm, i just can't get this out of my mind and I just, I'm also a bit like annoyed that I'm once again in a need for a camera bag because I thought I found one already. But what can you do? Uh, so here I am looking and then I found this one and it's just like, it's so perfect in all the other ways. But why? Why is there this flaw that is just too big of a flaw <laughs> to overlook? Yeah, this was not even really a review of this bag. I'm sorry, or I'm like, I don't know, uh, thoughts of the bag because I don't have it here to, to review it with you. But I just wanted to talk about this bag because it's so beautiful. And I mean, if I would be that type of shoulder bag girl, maybe. But I'm like, it needs to have a crossbody strap. It's with that price point, it needs to have a crossbody strap because like, it will look so good. Like, mm. oh, well, I'll just have to keep dreaming, won't I? Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.